yo what's good are you doing welcome to the second part of this series so the last series we learned how to or basically we created our authentication controller for our trades api so now we can register our login so in this video here we're going to be allowing our users to be able to create trades that with images or without images all right so without further ado let's just get started all right so what we want to go ahead and do first is um you know we want to have our models so we want to go ahead and do php artisan um artisan make model all right so what is the model going to be called let's call it thread all right so basically you can call it thread you can call it post and um, whatever you want to call it so just buy it and call it for that so we are going to open up the migration file so the migration file the first thing we want to do is we want to make this a big increment because we want to be able to save our user we want to know the user will, that created the post we want to have big um increment here so we're going to have id and hopefully you can see my screen now. Let me just zoom it a little bit. Ah, oh, no, that's too that's too much. Hopefully you can see it like this. Then you want to have tables. Um, so this table here, you want to have unsigned big integer. It's going to be user ID. This is how we're going to know the user that created the post. Then you want to have table next. Now this can be a string. We're going to call this um body. So what the user is posting, and we can go ahead and have another table string. This is going to be um image so this image here we're going to be we allow it to be what's non able because sometimes the user might not be interested in um in adding pictures when they want to create threads so the last we need to do is just assign our foreign key so we're going to say foreign so what is foreign here we want to make the user id foreign okay so once the user id foreign on on what on which table users Ref reference um id right so you're basically asking you want to pick you want to use the id to connect to the id from the user's table so now we can go ahead and run php artisan to migrate and that should work successfully okay i believe now we should go back to our database and which is stretch api here we should have a new table which is called threads and inside threads we have um user id body now if i should click on insert now you'll notice something so basically if i click on insert i can select my user here you can see so this is why i, I, I like doing um, um that kind of foreign id connection so we can identify the okay this is the user that owns this particular post all right so once this is done the next thing we want to do is we want to open up our trace model so our trace model basically what we want to have is um protected um protected fillable so what do you want to accept so these are things you want to accept so we want to accept the user id user id want to accept the body i also want to accept um the image okay so let me just close this all right so once this is done i want to go ahead and add um some um some um database relationship so we can go ahead and have ph public function function what so this is um uh, Function user. So this is going to be belong to. So we want to say this particular post belongs to a user. So we want to have belongs to. We can go ahead and do um return return this belongs to a user. I'm going to call the user class here. All right, beautiful. So now in the in the user class. You can go ahead and add um as many relationships so basically we're saying our well, user has many posts can create many posts so that is many so yeah we have those called the threads to make it threads you know for plural we're going to pass as many here so once that is as as far as me passed what we want to do is uh, want to return this as many as many what number our model thread model to call the class okay beautiful now we are done with the model and migrations so next thing we want to do is go ahead and create our controllers okay beautiful so now let's go back to our terminal so i'm just going to clear this once we have php artisan make controller let's create this controller in a folder so we have our odd folder here so we can basically just create a folder called threads 
you can put thread thread controller here click enter and we have our thread controller so basically what we all we need to do is just public function store okay we're going to do public function store beautiful so we this out of the way you no know, we have to make our custom request so we're going to do php artisan make um request so what request are we going to make we're going to make um let's call it trade request All right beautiful so now i try to request here we're going to make this true once this is true and the only thing we want to actually add is i want to make body to be required because our image field is not required so we don't need to actually add that so we want to have required all right beautiful we can also say it should be a string uh, let's add mass character should be 255 beautiful now in our in our store model which is thread controller we can go ahead and call in thread request we can call this thread request all right so yeah we can go ahead and pass our try and block catch try and catch block i mean i said try and block cash okay now we can go ahead and do return response so what response are we going to return we're going to return the message with the status code of 500 get message this will be 500 all right so yeah we can just validate it by doing thread controller i'm um, trying request i mean i can go ahead and call validated here okay all right so beautiful so we can go ahead and call api now what we want to do is um see this middle word that we have here so we are just going to delete this i'm going to call group we're going to call group here we're going to call function right so we're going to have um oh let's call it like this good so we're going to have route post so why are we posting we're posting let's go to, let's go to create and create thread all right so this is going to go to the way it's a thread controller plus we're going to call this store okay beautiful so basically we are actually done we are not done done but we can test i mean so that's what I'm, i don't i will not say we can go ahead and test this okay so sorry this is previous stuff i had here we're going to have i let, let's first log in because here yeah, we need to log in i logged out the last time so we need to log in i'm just going to select this change this to password let's click login Okay, yeah, make sure you run your server. PHP artisan serve. Okay, so let's log in. Mm. Right, beautiful. So I'm just going to copy. Make sure you copy the token. So we need the token to be able to do what we want to do. So yeah, we have to go to create slash trade. Then in the odds part, make sure you go to the odds and you set your pair token. Okay, so I'm just going to delete all this. All right, so if she clicks on now, we should have a validation that says body field is required. Had it been there's no odds in this in this place now, you click send. You are going to have um unauthenticated. So make sure you have your token part of it. Now that we've validated our trade what we want to do is initially what i love doing actually is i have i, I love having data as a variable so inside this variable i'm just going to have body i'm going to have body what is my body going to be it's going to be trade request body is as simple as that so i'm just going to have that variable down then yeah i'm going to check if images is being uploaded i'm going to call this check image what you call check image? So what I want to do is if if trade if trade request has file. So if this particular request has a file, 
which is called image okay so if it has a particular code image down below we can go ahead and do image parts it equals to um where do you want to upload the image to so i want to upload the image to public slash images slash trace so this is where i want the, up, uh, the images to be okay then i want to go ahead and do image the course so um we're going to now go quite and call trade file so we're going to call the file which is called image okay we're going to call that which is called image and uh, we can go ahead and say image name image name is equals to um image image we're going to get client original name so you see get client original name you can tap so what that is done we can basically just call up we can create a new variable called paths we're going to have um thread requests again i'm going to say file to this file here we can go ahead and call image again we can say um let's remember what i'm going to we're going to have store as so, uh, so why are we storing it as so we're going to start it as um image parts image part so which is our uh, part where we want the image saved then we need we also need our name so we're going to i'm going to, going to generate random numbers i'm going to assign my image to it image and that's called name okay you see four all right so now we can go ahead and do so if the did if the image is not empty we can go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and pass um sorry we're going to do this actually image is equals to parts okay beautiful so what i want to do again is if it is not empty let's validate this Red request validate go down to the validate image should be a valid image image all right so once all this is done so basically what we want to do is just save we want to save our data now so we can say save equals to um so i want to call auth user so on this user you remember there is something we call trades i want to call trades and i'm going to call create so that was why i added the relationship first i'm going to call create so inside there we need an array so i'm just going to pass data all right so we are going to say if we save if save was successful let's get a return a response message success Okay, message success and still the cost of 201. Else, um, we can have an error. Okay, we have a message error. This can be internal server errors, which is 500. Okay, good. I believe we are good to go. So, uh, let's go ahead and test this. So, first, now to test this without the image. So, we're going to have our body. Body, I can see Edward. So click send i have another says collection does not exist okay i believe we have to add also yeah so that is going to show right if you are using visual studio code just ignore it all right so just if i use a php storm it is not going to show an, an error but if you're using visual studio code that is going to show an error so just ignore it so now let's click send you see we have sources meaning it has been created so if i should check it um so, so if i should reload yeah yeah just reload this nonsense i can see we have hello world with the user id so if i should click on this user id you will see i'll get directed to the user table with the user with the id so that is so how it is very very nice to use now let's upload with an image so we can go ahead and uh, have an image okay now if you're using thunder clients just click on image here 
some files and uh, we can go ahead and have our file called image select a picture so let's go ahead and select the picture i'm just going to go to my download so there's a um, picture in my downloads um this open and uh, let's click send you can see success so our image has been uploaded also check it out wow that's our picture has been uploaded so we should check um the file explorer go to public uh, not public actually go to storage app public images you can see we have our image here. the last we need to do is uh so rather than it to be in this place let's let's click our storage so in case when we upload again we can be able to access it easier so we can do php artisan storage link so it has connected this particular public storage uh, it has connected to and the storage so let's try again let's click send okay public you can see public storage images which is now in this place all right so that is everything for this tutorial now we've learned how to create our post so we added our the create post feature so the next video we're going to be learning we are going to be implementing fetching all our posts and also implementing the likes so if you like this video please make sure you like subscribe see you next time peace